Hey guys, what's going on? So in the video today, I'm really excited because in today's video, I'm unboxing another pair of shoes, another pair of footwear. It's very exciting because this is another set of shoes in rare shell cordovan, which is called Maduro shell cordovan, Grant Stone's version of cigar shell. Now, if you guys are in the shell game, then you know how rare it is, how hard it is to get your hands on this stuff. And I've talked about this ad nauseum before, but I've been buying boots. I've been in the boot game since 2013. Never had an opportunity to get my hands on cigar. You know, I'm not the type that's going into an Alden shop, you know, trying to get like super friendly with the owner, talk them into letting me get on a list or whatever. Like I am on some lists, but Again, I don't, I don't foresee that ever really coming to fruition. And just due to the demand and the rarity of the rare shell, I'm eternally grateful to a company like Grant Stone who's willing to make it easy for somebody like me, just a guy off the street, to get his hands on some rare shell. So, and with me here, I have my boots. So these boots are the same version of the shoe. These boots are the Grant Stone Edward boot in Maduro Shell Cordovan. I've worn them probably probably a good 10 times so far. They're patinating very nicely. Thanks for that word, by the way, Dave. My friend Dave at The Vintage Future, he uses the term patinate a lot, and I looked it up, sure enough. There is a verb to which means to put a patina on something, which is patinate. So typically people use it in the past tense, I guess. Patinated, so this is a patinated copper or a patinated leather. Like, it's already had the patina put on it. You can use it. We can use it. I think we should start using it. Um, patinate. It's a great word. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, so I've been wearing these, and uh, absolutely, the initial gloss has worn off in certain areas. I did get some water on them. They haven't really formed water spots, but there are certain areas of on the vamp especially that have sort of formed water spots, I'll say. Not, not water stains, but more like areas where moisture has hit. It's sort of like the sheen has come off. But it's still, the color is still very uniform throughout the entire boot. I did wipe them down to try to like even that out, but it's just something that's happening. Shell seems to, depending on the particular piece that you get, just seems to patina differently depending on what you do with it. I think probably some Venetian shoe cream will definitely even all that out though. So, but I'm not ready to put that on yet. So, but yeah, I'm just riding these out. I've been having a lot of fun wearing these. They're that gorgeous dark chocolate brown color, which is a nice departure from the standard color eight that you always see. I love color eight, don't get me wrong, but when you've been in collecting shell for a number of years, it's like, okay, color eight, yeah, it's great, I love it, but I'd like some of the other stuff. So I really hope Grant Stone runs Ravello next, or their version of Ravello, or color four or color two, that would be amazing. Grant Stone, thank you for, so much for making this possible. This has been a gr grail pair of boots. I've been wanting a, a pair of cigar shell or dark brown shell or Maduro shell cordovan plain toe boots for, I feel like, ages now. So, a significant percentage of my life was spent yearning for this leather. So, here we go. Let's open her up. Grant Stone has that real nice, convenient pull ring in their box now, which I love. I talked to Wyatt about that, gave him tons of praise for that because I just think that's one of the most ingenious ideas. Leo Plain Toe Maduro Shell, 42393, 8.5D. Grant Stone box here. You can see that very nice. And again, with this notch here that's completely congruent with the rest of the box. I love that. I think that's so brilliant. It'll definitely prevent a boot avalanche if you store your boots that way. You know, if you store your shoes and your boots in your closet, the box tops can so sometimes catch on each other, and that, that'll cause a boot avalanche. And this, this fabric, by the way, this whatever this fabric is, I've got it lining all my uh, cubbies in the background. So I think it's so nice. I knew I'd find a, a good purpose for it. And now they've got all my boots on full display. So, <laughs> all right, here we go. The infamous Grant Stone bottle opener slash shoehorn slash keychain slash whatever else you want to use it for. I literally probably have 20 of these by now. <laughs> They're great. I love them. Such a nice touch. Some extra laces there. Cotton, round. They appear to be round waxed laces. Very nice. Not overly waxed, which is important, I'm finding. Because overly waxed makes them too hard. And uh, hard to work with. Hard to tie. Oh, wow. I can smell that shell already. 
Now these, I'll probably really start wearing these in the springtime. These are going to be an everything shoe for me, that's for sure. I'm going to wear these with, you can wear these with shorts and a t-shirt even, you know. You can do anything with these. These are fantastic. Let me open up the other one. Flawless. Just, just impeccable. Just incredible. I'll get some footage of these outside too, but, so we've got blind eyelets here. And then we've got the leather sole, which I'll be bringing these to Cobbler Sunny to get a toe tap installed there. We've got a 360 degree Goodyear welt with a storm welt. Very nice work on the joint welt there. The edging here on the antique sole, it's like a dark, darker chocolatey finish, I want to say. Could be cherry. I'll, I'll need to get a look at these outside, but definitely a nice finish, definitely a different finish. I think compared to the Edwards, or maybe it is the same. It could be the same, actually, but it's it's a little bit worn down on the Edwards, just because they've been worn. So this is from a pre-order plain toe blucher Maduro shell Cordovan. They are sold out, so but Grantstone did get a nice a nice generous batch of the cigar shell or Maduro shell in, which they were able to do the Edward boot in, which I was extremely excited about, and then they did the, the blucher, the plain toe blucher, and then they also just released for a pre-order the brass boot in Maduro shell, which I also jumped on. Because just again, understanding that this is more of an opportunity than it is an investment, like the, the Maduro shell is so rare, it's just super hard to get your hands on. So when I saw Grant Stone running a third makeup in it, and they even ran also a loafer in it as well, but I'm not a loafer man, so I hopped on the the bluecher, the plain toe bluechers, I hopped on the Edward boot, and I also hopped on the Maduro shell brass boot, because that was just an incredible looking boot, and it basically checks the cigar shell indie box for me, so. All right, so here it says, introducing Maduro shell cordovan. Maduro is the Spanish term for ripe or mature, meaning fully developed. In the cigar world, Maduro refers to a wrapper leaf, the darkest of all the numerous shades of brown. These wrappers undergo a time-consuming fermentation process with higher temperatures and moisture to produce dark colors and rich flavors. After seeing the shell color in various light, we couldn't think of a better name. This color has many layers with an earthy dark brown base. Yes. One of the unique properties of Shell Cordovan is the watercolor paint-like character that allows you to see beyond the surface layer. It has a natural appearance that can be attributed to the six month long vegetable tanned process. Slight variation is expected as this article is the antithesis of cookie cutter leather. Shell also has a unique ability to mold to your foot without stretching, creating the ideal loafer material. All right, so on the blucher, we've got, again, blind eyelets which accommodate a much thinner round cotton lace. Compare that to the small antique brass eyelets. We've got five round brass eyelets here, three brass speed hooks here, and a much thicker flat cotton lace to go in there. Um, the welt is the same. So the welt on both items is a 360 degree Goodyear storm welt. The storm welt is this, just this little flap this little decorative flap that keeps water out, helps to keep water out. So both the edges on both items on the shoe and the boot are finished. And then obviously the soles are different. So on the blucher, we've got a leather sole, which again, I will have toe taps installed, but I'm, I'm walking around on leather soles right now. It's an incredibly durable sole. Don't let the leather sole deter you from, from jumping on leather soles because they're incredibly durable, and you know what the best thing about these is? They don't drag mud into the house. I really like that. They, they don't drag dirt and debris into the house, unlike this micro-studded rubber sole, which is very nice. This is a, the proprietary Grantstone micro-stud sole, which I love, but it will pick up some dirt and uh, bring that into the house, so, so keep that in mind. The other thing that I noticed about leather soles, so I'm really focusing on giving leather soles in particular a chance recently, 
And one thing that I notice is I can slip on any sole. Like these, I was I was in the uh, I was on the ice the other day in these, literally ice skating in them. So rubber doesn't necessarily grip the ice. It'll grip snow better, but it's not going to grip ice any better than you know. It's not going to grip ice any worse than a leather sole will. So what I found is maybe we put too much reliance on our soles and less reliance on our balance. I'm a snowboarder. It's one of my favorite things to do in the winter is snowboard. And I found that balance is so crucial when you're snowboarding. Well, guess what? It's also taught me that balance is crucial in your day-to-day -day life when you're walking around. And the only time I've ever slipped in a leather sole is when I have when I ignored my balance. So in other words, like, don't think you're going to be ice skating in these necessarily. As long as you're balanced very well and grounded, which I always am in the Leo last, I never slip in my leather soles. So that's just a word of advice. Like if you think that you can attribute leather soles to slipping, I would actually put some of the question onto yourself. Um, how, how are you walking? Are you well balanced with your stride or not? And if you are, then you're not probably not gonna slip. Like like very rarely have I ever slipped in, in leather soles in situations where a rubber sole would have prevented me from slipping anyways. I think we give rubber soles more credit than is worth sometimes. Like again, I'll show the video of me ice skating in my in, in these uh, micro stud rubber soles. So long story short though, leather soles are great. Don't hate on the leather sole. Give it a chance. <laughs> like again, I'm very, very excited to have gotten these Grail shoes. I will be wearing these, especially starting in the spring. In the summer when it gets warmer, I'll be wearing them with shorts and a t-shirt and or a polo shirt. Obviously, you can wear this with denim. You can wear it with no-show no socks. There's nothing this can't do except for a bathing suit, really. Up till now, I've been wearing my wingtip bluchers with shorts in the summer when it's too hot because I don't like to wear sneakers and I don't like loafers and I don't like sandals. So this is this is basically gonna replace all those three things for me. Sneakers, loafers, and sandals, because I don't wear those. I think something like a blucher looks way better and uh, it feels more comfortable too. Like I'd rather carry around with me the best possible gear just in my day-to-day -day life. Another thing that I really, really love about Grant Stone Derbies is this cross stitch right here. My saddle tan veg battle lassie uh, derbies have that same thing as same with same with my ivory suede derbies That's what sets Grant Stone derbies apart in my opinion is just this beautiful cross stitch right here It's mostly decorative from what I can tell but I think it's just a stunning little detail It doesn't stand out so much, but when you see it you really notice it So I think that's that's really something and they don't do that on their boots. They just do that on their derbies So again, it just it just shows you how much attention to detail um, that they place into the design of their footwear. I love it. I think it's got a real cool like heritage derby look to it, like almost an old world look about it. I don't know. It's hard to describe, but I, I, hate, I hate to overly praise that cross stitch, but I really love it. I really think it lends such a cool aesthetic to the shoe. So anyways, but yeah, so these are going to be getting a ton of wear this spring and summer. For me specifically, I can't wait to start beating them up and wearing them in. The other thing that I want to mention about Grant Stone is I did just do that interview with Wyatt and he dropped a lot of really good makeups that he has coming down the pike. And uh, one of them that I just jumped on yesterday is the Navy Chrome Excel diesel boot. I'm very excited about these because they actually ran the Navy Chrome Excel Derby a year or so ago and it's got a really cool turquoise undertone, very attractive shade of navy chrome excel in my opinion and when i saw those that plain that plain toe that beautiful navy chrome excel you know sometimes i think i'm done with chrome excel and to a large extent i am like i have a lot of black chrome excel brown chrome excel natural chrome excel um, but i have hardly any navy chrome excel well i have a pair of alden tanker boots in navy chrome excel and i have some thorough good roofer boots in indigo chrome excel which are kind of more on the turquoise side. So I'm excited to get those in. So yeah, check out Grant Stone's site. They have a lot of good new drops on there recently. They're also dropping some ostrich boots, which I don't think I'll be jumping on because they're just a little bit too loud for me, but I think they're probably the best rendition of an ostrich boot I've ever seen. So that said, I think that, um, I think that ostrich is worth your consideration as well. So, so anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Um, I'm on Instagram. You can follow me there. My username is AerosurferLV. Um, let me know what you think of these derbies in the comments. Yeah, thanks a lot for watching, and I will see y'all in my next video.